Dubai's Crown Prince, who goes by the name Faza, is one of the richest royals in the world, with a personal net worth of $400 million. However, the Dubai royal family is worth much, much more than that, an estimated $18 billion. Growing up with that kind of wealth, it's no surprise the prince has some extravagant taste. He has everything from amphibious vehicles and his own fleet of luxury tanks to millions of dollars worth of exotic animals, including the most expensive horse and camel in the entire world. From yachts to exciting hobbies, here's how the Royal Prince of Dubai spends his millions. Let's start with where he lives. Of course, the prince, who goes by the title Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, has plenty of options when it comes to luxury homes. The Dubai family owns plenty of expensive properties around the world, but these are the ones favorited by Faza. The first is the Royal Palace, because how could anybody not love living in this place? The Zabil Palace is estimated to be worth as much as $500 million and officially belongs to the ruler of Dubai and Faza's father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. These photos are from when the palace was lit up for an array of royal weddings. While the interior has been kept pretty private and visitors are allowed nowhere near the royal home, these shots of another of Dubai's royal palaces give us an idea of just how opulent it is on the inside. In fact, most of Dubai's royal palaces are in the same area, which is basically a large complex of several palaces where most royal family members live. To get away from life in Dubai, the prince has a favorite spot in Vancouver, Canada. He owns a $55 million penthouse at the Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel. Nice, huh? Originally, Faza bought just one penthouse in the building for $25 million in 2017. But why buy one when you can have three? But then he quickly bought three sub-penthouse units just underneath it, bringing the total investment to $55 million, and reportedly, he paid in cash. Now the luxury penthouse covers 15,000 square feet over the building's top three floors. It features all glass walls for amazing views of the Canadian city's downtown, a loft seating area, a spacious kitchen, an office, and multiple living rooms and lounges. The prince also has ties to another luxurious hotel, but he doesn't just own a penthouse in this one. He owns the whole thing. Zabil Investments is a private investment company owned by Faza that owns tons of properties across the United Arab Emirates, including the Hotel Jamira Zabil Saray, located on the famous man-made luxury island of Palm Jamira. The Dubai Hotel costs 12 $12 billion to construct and has its own indoor and outdoor pools, access to private beaches for its guests, and tons of luxury suites. There are 405 rooms for guests, plus 38 royal residences where the Dubai royals, including Faza, can enjoy a taste of the Zabil luxury meant just for them. Faza has been called a bit of an animal whisperer, a reputation he earned because of all the exotic pets he owns. His collection includes tigers, elephants, lions, and plenty of distinguished peacocks, but there's probably nothing more impressive than his camel, because it's the most expensive camel in the entire world. While searching for the world's greatest camel to add to his collection, you know, just like the rest of us do all the time, the prince picked this one out of 17,000 candidates. He bought the camel for $2.7 million, and it's been a star on his Instagram account ever since. Finally, an Instagram account worth following. While less expensive, Faza's falcons are also some of his favorite animals. The prince has individual falcons flown into the United Arab Emirates thanks to his falcon dealer, Bryn Close, who provides the prince with falcons exclusively. While we aren't sure exactly how much Faza spends per falcon, he's expected to own hundreds, and they can win the prince more than $100,000 anytime they win a race or competition. Does ESPN run falcon racing? Check that. Prince Faza even has another animal that's expected to be the most expensive of its kind. One of his prized show horses reportedly cost the prince $1.8 million, and he's been spotted showing it off at competitions all over the world. The prince is believed to own more than 1,000 horses across the world, and he has at least 120 camels on his farm in Dubai. While the prince could choose to get around on the backs of camels, horses, and elephants, he usually opts for his multi-million dollar car collection, which includes multiple gold vehicles. These flashy golden cars include a gold Rolls-Royce Phantom worth an estimated $8.2 million. He also has a golden Lamborghini Aventador worth $7.5 million, a Porsche 918 Spyder with a price tag of $5.8 million, and a gold Range Rover Vogue expected to be worth at least $3.2 million. He also has a Lamborghini Veneno Roadster worth $4.5 million. When the car was released in 2014, only nine were ever produced, and he had the car gold-plated for an unspecified but probably extravagant amount of money. But the most expensive golden vehicle he owns is a Mercedes-AMG G63, worth an astonishing $9.6 million. 
His other non-golden, how dare he, luxury vehicles aren't really any less impressive. He has an Aston Martin 177 worth $1.9 million that was once thought to be the most expensive car in the world. It gets his name because there are only 77 of these cars in existence. His Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport is another unique addition to his collection. It's got a strange reptilian body, can reach speeds of 250 miles per hour, and it costs the prince $1.7 million. He also has a LaFerrari worth $2.1 million and a sleek Ferrari F12 Berlinetta worth $1.5 5 million. Okay, enough about the cars. What about his fleet of tanks? Prince Faza owns an extraordinary collection of luxury tanks. Is that a thing? Yeah, beloved by the rich. They can plow over any terrain, from sand and mud to snow, and they're also military grade and nearly indestructible. The prince has been spotted using them for joy rides in the deserts of Dubai. These ripsaw tanks cost $495,000 for a single seat model, $545,000 for two seats, and $595,000 for four seats, in case you were thinking of buying one. Since the prince seems to love to drive in any terrain possible, he's also got quite the collection of amphibious cars. The prince used to be a big fan of the Python, but now he's upgraded to the next best thing, the Panther. Though the Python can reach a record-setting speed on water, about 60 miles per hour, it has an enormous $300,000 price tag. The newer Pythons are even faster, but they're also cheaper and expected to cost $135,000. See? That's affordable. The prince spent $800,000 in total on multiple Panthers to add to his collection to get a head start on the water vehicle trend before they officially hit the market. For a more relaxed time on the sea, Prince Faza also owns a few luxurious super yachts. One of them is the $70 million Esmeralda, but his most expensive yacht that he bought in 2013 cost $180 million, and it has everything he could possibly need on water, including a gym designed by Usain Bolt, several pools, and a personal spa, and a helicopter landing pad. And of course, the Prince also has his own private plane. He uses the Boeing 747-400, which cost about $200 $160 million. The Dubai Royal Air Wing has a fleet of them that can be used by members of the royal family. However, he also likes to fly first class on Emirates, which costs a minimum $600 per hour of flight time. Tickets across the globe can easily exceed $20,000 each. So there's one last question. How has the prince racked up such an impressive personal net worth? Does he really work for his money? Well, of course, there's Zabil Investments. The private investment company helps keep personal money in the prince's pockets, and the company has invested billions on buildings and construction projects. Projects. But obviously, most of the prince's net worth is thanks to his connections as a member of the royal family. While most of Fazaz's hobbies are just for fun, he's incredibly talented and takes part in a lot of competitions. He's an award-winning horse rider, semi-professional skydiver, and an accomplished athlete. He's also a talented poet and photographer, and is the founder of the Hamdan International Photography Award. With so many incredible hobbies and millions to spend on them, he doesn't seem to spend much time in the office. But if you were a royal, wouldn't you do the same? Prince Faza might spend a lot of his money on exotic animals and extravagant hobbies, but sometimes they make him money, too. You know that almost $3 million camel we mentioned? It won the prince $600,000 in a camel beauty contest. What? Now that's a prized pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.